There is a woman holding on to a railing mounted against a white wall. She is struggling to walk down a hallway. Screen text. Multiple sclerosis MS. An unpredictable disease of the central nervous system. Riley Bove, MD, Associate Professor of Neurology, UCSF. People with multiple sclerosis, MS, are at higher risk of falls, and it can be due from any combination of difficulty with cognitive processing, vision, strength, balance, or maybe rushing because they have to go to the bathroom. Outdoor clip of the Jome and Sanford I. Weill Neurosciences building on UCSS campus. Inside the building, Riley is sitting at a table with a group of people, and they are working together. The project that we have submitted to NLM for funding is MS Fit, MS Falls Insight Track. Screenshot of the MS Fit, MS Falls Insight Track page. There is information on the page, such as graphs, charts, variables, scores, and actions. There is also a page with goals for each patient's visit, followed by clips of Riley working and collaborating with a group of people in a room. This is a digital intervention. It was designed by the intended users, so patients, clinicians, and other stakeholders, and it's designed to improve the reporting around falls and attention to fall prevention. Tara Mutukisna. Throughout the video, there are clips of her walking in the building and interacting with a physical therapist. It appears that she may struggle with walking. I was diagnosed with MS in 2016. I think it was tripping on the sidewalks and in the road. It became pretty common and frustrating. As a competitive person, I didn't appreciate not being able to walk straight and not fall. Fear of falling can stop people doing activities. Valerie Block, PT, adjunct instructor, physical therapy, UCSF. And not doing activities means that they're not out being social, it can increase depression, it can reduce physical activity, which then has a whole slew of different issues. Riley and Tara interacting together in the building. I see a patient every six months, and I know that most of the patient's lived experience is outside of that clinic visit. Screenshots of the Insight Track page with charts, content, and information collected on patients. One screenshot specifically highlights an event, a patient with MS that fell down and reported it. The highlight includes the date, time, severity, and injury of the fall. And for that reason, um, we needed to build a system that allowed people to collect information about their falls longitudinally in as simple and unobtrusive and patient-friendly way possible. A clinician wearing a white coat sitting at a desk using a laptop. A screenshot appears informing the clinician that a patient reported a severe fall and ping clinicians so that we can better intervene when there is a near fall or a fall and then continue to intervene until um, all of the sort of fall reduction strategies are in place. A physical therapist analyzing Tara walking followed by a screenshot of the Insight Track page with a survey. There are several questions and responses depicted in the survey. The surveys are so straightforward and clear. So for me, it's just how many falls have you had today? Or what was the climate that really impacted your walking ability? A glass door with the text, UCSF Weill Institute for Neurosciences, Weill Neurohub West. Inside, Riley and the group of people are sitting at a table. They are on their laptops while they are collaborating and working together. It's hard for me to see how this process would have been accomplished without funding um, from the National Library of Medicine because of the time and care that it takes to build things in a way that they're going to succeed with the intended users. Tara and Riley interacting with each other. I'm just excited that my the doctors of UCSF are allowing me to live my life, not just treat my MS. Gray and blue and IH, an LN logo, serving scientists and society.